Hey, Kenny with Helicopter Online Ground School, and we promised a video on the Enstrom helicopter. Most of you watching our videos have heard me talk about them and the great auto rotation and all the cool things about an Enstrom, but I haven't been to the factory in a while, so I don't know really the latest things happening. So we have Dennis here from Enstrom Helicopter, who's just gonna take a few minutes to let you know what's going on with Enstrom, what's in, that's you know recently come out, any advancements, and what's gonna be happening in the near future. So just go ahead and grab a hold there and just let us know. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Kenny. Big fan of the videos. We love uh, we you. love watching everything you have online. And I appreciate it. As you mentioned, my name is Dennis Martin. I'm the director of sales and marketing for Enstrom Helicopter. And uh, what we got here, we have a brand new 2019 280FX, um, and it's got a lot of uh, sort of neat updates for this year. Um, we'll start with the rotor head because that's kind of the magic in the Enstrom. And we actually did this last year, so it's not new for 19, but we'll call it new. Um, is we, we have a full TT strap rotor head now. So um, no more Lamaflex bearings in these. Um, we use a Lamaflex forever, they work good. Everybody loves them, but the TT straps are a little bit better. We have a five year uh, strap from Airwolf, so it doesn't cost any more in the Lamaflex. Um, and uh, what's really neat about it is it allows us to do some things in the control system that actually lightens up the collective a little bit. So it makes it a nicer flying helicopter. So not only is your mechanic going to like it, but for the pilots, you know, we give them something a little more fun too. Um, it's a little more stick and rudder fun. Um, but probably for 2019, the most exciting thing we came out with is the new super wide doors. So um, for those of you that um, have seen some of the older 280s, oh, right yeah, there you go. You know, the older 280s, beautiful looking helicopter, you know, won lots of uh, industrial design awards, but the doors were always kind of narrow and small. And so you've got this, 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 yeah, so you've got this helicopter that's big guy friendly. You know, you can get, you know, six and six and a half footers in there, 300 pounders, but they couldn't get it, they couldn't get through the door. And so we went with the 480 style door. It's externally hinged, opens a lot wider. Um, actually saves a little bit of weight, makes it easier to change the window. So all around, it's just a it's just a win, win everywhere. And so our, our engineering team really really pulled that one off. We're pretty happy about that. That's a good deal. Yeah. I like that. Yep. Uh, the other thing we did for for 19 is we went to um, new illuminated panels for all the avionics circuit breakers and switches and things like that. Um, so just like the 480, you know, you've got these really cool backlit illuminated panels. Um, makes it a lot easier to, to, to see at night, to, to see what's going on, and it's just a really nice, nice, clean, professional look. Um, and then uh, the collectives. So we went with 480-style collectives. Um, this isn't a tiny little floppy stick you grab. It's a great big heavy collective, you know, that, that feels like you really got a hold of something. Um, and what's kind of neat, it, yeah, it puts, um, puts all the switches there, and it's all dueled. So as the instructor... You know, you've got you've got all the light switches and everything dueled, and you've got the start switch dueled. So, um, you know, you can start the helicopter from either seat now, um, which is which is kind of nice for the instructors. Um, and you know, for guys that are going to transition into the turbine, you know, everything's going to kind of feel the feel the same. So we're we're pretty excited about that. That was a that was a nice upgrade. Um, and speaking of lighting, all LED lighting now. So LED landing lights, and we've got the LED pulse light on the front. And, you know, until you've kind of experienced it, you would be amazed how easy that pulse light is to see. It really makes the helicopter stand out, um, stand out in the airspace. Um, full uh, ADS-B compliant now, so Garmin GTX 345 transponder, so you've got ADS-B in and out. Um, so, you know, you're, you're good for the, the 2020 mandate there. Um, the latest Garmin 650 with all the latest software, touchscreen, that's kind of neat. Um, and then this one has a, an Aspen EFA system in it. So uh, for students that want to train glass cockpit, um, you know, we've got the Aspen. You can do a single tube or a dual tube Aspen. Um, and what's kind of nice is uh, you can turn this into an IFR training helicopter pretty inexpensively. Um, so you've got a glass cockpit IFR training helicopter. So, you know, all that combined really, really makes it, um, you know, we, we, we kind of, looked at what can we do to make this a little bit better helicopter, what can we do to help the instructors out, what can we do to give the schools a little more value, you know, an aircraft that you can do primary training and instrument training, et cetera. You know, what can we do to give a little more value to our customers? Um, and that's what we did for with the new Enstrom here. Awesome. I think those are 
just even though it's just a few things, I really like the door. That is yeah. e that is easier to get in yeah. and out of. It, you wouldn't think a door would be such a big no. deal, but it, it, you know, you have to get in and out of it every time you fly. I can and tell. So, I, I've been getting in and out of, the, of yeah. a, a newer 280 back at home. Getting in there is definitely easier, and yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. And the, everything else, yeah, that collective is cool. The lighting, um, I like the black, how it's like the black mat now in the controls. Yeah. Yeah, that's we cool. Used, we used to do chrome. We blacked all that. That's out. nice. Yeah, that yeah. just gives it a more modern look. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I thank you very much for sharing that with us because that gives a lot of people reasons to now even more reason to go check out the instrument. It's not just the same old helicopter. It's, you know, it's the time tested, proven, been around forever, but yeah. with now some more modern upgrades. That's really really cool. Yeah, everything you've always loved about Enstrom and then we've just we've just made it better. So, awesome. and we appreciate again, Kenny, we appreciate everything you do, you well, know, thank you. Uh, spreading the word and and uh, all the great great instruction you give and, and the online stuff. It's, it's really helping the community come together and, awesome. and making us all better pilots. Well, I appreciate it very yeah. much. All right. Well, hey, comments down below about the Enstrom and we'll do our best to answer them. Might be a day or two till I get back home. We're kind of overwhelmed with comments right now, but Put them down below and we'll answer them as we can. Subscribe, click the bell, and we'll see you in the next video.